is really striking in this uh, in this presidential election is the fact that uh, um, I mean the level of uncertainty, the level of indecision is is really really high, and uh, even if people are, are really focused on on a, a few issues uh, like jobs, um, like uh, security, like uh, uh, their uh, their pension and their health care covers, um, they still don't know exactly which candidate. Um, uh, can represent, can actually protect their their interests, and um, you have a lot of uh, fluidity between uh, uh, the electorates. For example, you have um, um, people who voted for François Hollande in, ba back in 2012 who don't know if they are going to vote for Emmanuel Macron or if, if they are going to Jean, if they are going to vote for Jean-Luc Mélenchon or Benoît Hamon. Um, and um, and you you can you can see that uh, also with the electorate of, Fra of François Fillon and uh, and Emmanuel Macron him, him, himself. So a lot of uncertainty. Uh, again, it's really uh, uh, the first time this happens. Uh, first time this happened like for 50 years. So it's uh, it's really um, um, it's really strange to witness. And uh, and and the pollsters are quite confused. So we don't. We don't even know if uh, the opinion polls are ready to to um, to analyze um, thoroughly what's what's happening now.